Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan, and I want to do a quick podcast on what's going on with esports and uh, Hearthstone for 2023. So right now I'm on the official Hearthstone.blizzard.com official uh, forum and you know website, and I was reading up on Reddit, and this was actually posted back on the 19th, but I was reading up on Reddit, and this caught my eye. For those who are big Hearthstone fans, or maybe even pro players that might watch this video, people who might be in competitive Hearthstone, there has been a big change to the Hearthstone Masters Tour. Essentially, what I'm reading is that Blizzard is has no money to spare for the Masters Tour. So if you're a pro player, and uh, I feel bad because you're not going to get any money, but there is going to be a giant prize pool of $500,000. So half a million dollars you will win if you are able to win the whole tour. But let's read. It says, are you ready for the 10th year of competitive Hearthstone? This year is going to look a bit different from the previous few. So let's get into what is coming to Hearthstone Esports. Heading into the 2023 season, we have been evaluating the state of our competitive program and the best format it to take move forward. Last fall, we began thinking about setting Hearthstone esports up for sustainability as it turns a decade old, balancing the realities of an ever changing production landscape, sizing the program according to its audience, and finding the most direct path forward for players that compete. Even though the 2023 program is smaller, this year is poised to bring another exciting year of competitive Hearthstone with players from across the global showcasing their skills, stern prizing, and joining the Hall of Champions. This year, we'll see a total of seven events, three master tours, seasonal championships, leading into the 2023 World Championships, as well as the three standalone battlegrounds, Lobby Legends tournaments, all broadcast on YouTube and Twitch. Qualifying for each event will take place through their respective ladders across three-month seasons. Each Masters Tour and Lobby Legends will feature 16 of the top ladder players based on competitive points earned through monthly standings so right there did you catch that they're no longer giving people money for winning these tournaments so if you're a professional player you're competing in these tournaments whether you're professional or not you're competing in these tournaments you're instead going to get points and those points are going to determine your rank and in those rankings you will either receive a invite to the final world championships at the end of the year if you've earned enough points or you will not and it says here qualifying for each event will take place through their respective ladders across three month seasons each master store and lobby legends will feature 16 of the top ladder players based on competitive points earned through monthly standings the top four point earners in each region will receive invites followed by the top four total point earners regardless of region that had not yet received an invite. So essentially what's happening here is you're going to be put into a point system instead of earning money. Now I feel really bad for you guys. Blizzard, what are you guys doing? Blizzard just seems to be dropping the ball everywhere lately. Man, I don't know what's going on. And how do they not have any money? Like, man, for how well, you know, microtransactions people are spending on Diablo Immortal. They should have a ton of money. They just came out with the new WoW expansion that's doing really well. Like, what's going on with Hearthstone? Why are they not giving money to their players? That doesn't make any sense. And a lot of people are pissed right now. So it even says, as standalone events, each Battleground Lobby Legends will have a $50,000 prize pool. Standard players will be competing for one of eight spots at the 2023 World Championship and its total prize of $500,000. Seasonal championships will reward invites to their champion, who will be joined by the top points earners for January through November, with the top earner in each region receiving invite, as well as the top two points earnings, regardless of region. So the 2023 Hearthstone Master Tours, official rules, uh, lobby official available in another point. Okay. Uh, they said we'll have more details on the final event dates and how to watch in the in the coming months, including how to drop earn drops while watching See You in the Tavern. Okay, so let's read some of the facts. Will there be drops on this year's broadcast? They say yes, viewership drops are returning for 2023. Will there be 
regional re, regionalized broadcast. Currently, there are no plans to produce regionalized broadcasts. How come there are only three battlegrounds, lobby legend tournaments? We want to focus on one main battlegrounds event, expansion. How come the three master tour events don't have any prize pools? With players having a direct qualification path to the world championship by playing ladder, we want to prioritize rewarding the most consistent players over the course of the whole year. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys just make great decisions, don't you, with the company? We want to reward. So basically, they're slapping people in the face and saying, you either have to be a really good player or... You don't get anything. So even if you come in second or third in these tournaments, you get nothing. I think you earn a point. But like, I don't know. That's just, that doesn't sit right, you know? I feel bad for the players who work really hard to get here all year. Uh, what else do they have to say? Uh, will there be third-party invites for Master Tour events? While there are no third-party invites this year, information on hosting community events can be found in the community competition guidelines. So, you know. <laughs> Does this mean Hearthstone Esports being canceled in 2024? We don't have anything to share on the 24 program design. Uh, short summary, uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the end of the Hearthstone competitive scene coming up. I think that's, they're just trying to, I don't know, I just don't, I don't understand. Is this because of low viewership from being exclusive to the YouTube the last three years? Our goal is to balance the cost of running eSport productions while taking into account the size of the competitive community. Now that Hearthstone Esports can be on Twitch, why not increase funding to bring back players? We're excited for the Master Store to be back on Twitch after three years and are eager to see what our audience there is like. The new program is sized for sustainability as Hearthstone Esports turns 10. Now, it's not turn sustainability. It's just saying they've run out of money and they don't know another way to fix this. Is the prize pool reduction because of the loss of net ease as a Chinese publisher? No, we began evaluating the size of the program before we understood we weren't going to be able to reach an agreement with net ease. As we shared, we are committed to Chinese players and are actively exploring alternatives for bringing our games back to China in the future. All right, what is the status of players from mainland China? Unfortunately, while we'd like to invite them, the Gold Series mainland China's competitive personal program was run by the previous local publisher which provided events, sorry, invites the players to compete in the Hearthstone esports program outside of mainland China. Due to the end of our agreement, circumstances have changed. We hope to enable Chinese players to compete globally as we find alternatives for bringing Hearthstone back. Ah, oh, this is really sad. So the summary is, if you're a competitive Hearthstone player and you've been doing Masters, you're no longer going to receive money for winning tournaments. Now, why Blizzard thought this would be a great idea, I don't know. I think that just really means bad news. But at the same time, they just came out with a new expansion with the new class. I mean, you would think they would have money from all those people buying all the card decks and all that, right? Where's all the money going? Ah, oh, Blizzard. They just make one great decision after another. It really scares me to have a Diablo 4 because I have Diablo 4 actually pre-ordered and I'm still waiting for it to come out in June. So I'm really scared. Not looking good for Blizzard right now. Um, you know, everybody has to come to an end, right? So the only reason I wanted to make this video is because I actually like Hearthstone. Um, I've been playing Hearthstone a lot over the years. And it's really sad to see some of these things that are coming to this game, you know, but I guess every giant has to fall. So I guess we'll see if this will help the game or not, but this does not look good. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Let me know what you think about what's going on with Blizzard. What's going on with Hearthstone. Please put your comments in the, in the, um, down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care.